Hi, Macy here. Welcome to my AdMob Unity Android tutorial. You can watch the iOS version here. And the steps for setting up Android AdMob on Unity is very, very similar to the iOS. We are going to use the existing Unity plugins created by Google for this tutorial. So now I am on the AdMob Unity plugin Git repository. I will share the link at the description down below. On the page, it tells you all the documentation of how to actually implement the plugin. So let's just clone it. Let's open terminal. Just go to the folder you would like to put your project. I usually put in my project folder. Project, yeah. And then here is git clone and just paste the git path we have copied. Just enter. So now the project is downloaded. It's very quick. So now let's open our project in Unity. Open Unity. File, open project. Let's go find the project here. So click open other. Because I've previously opened some other project before, and to find the folder, I have saved my example. So here I'm going to project. Remember it was called Google something. So samples so this is the one unity samples this folder you could open hello world and just open this up first we need to look into the android manifest in most cases we need to modify our existing android manifest file However, this one is just an example that's being created by the sample project. Let's go to the AdMob Android side to see what do we need to change on our existing Android manifest. First, we need to add a metadata tag, which allows the Google Play services to run. And then second, we need to clear the add activities in order to give this activity the permission to run. The third thing we need to add is to make sure our manifest has internet connection access. There's another one, it's access network states. However, this one is optional. Go back to the Unity project. Besides this, we also need to include in the Google Play services libraries with this project. Let's just open the folder of uh, the existing Android plugins. Then just open a new window. Let's just go to find where our Android SDK is being installed. I installed in a SDK folder. So we just need to go to the extras in Google folder, Google Play services. We just need to include this library folder into our existing project. Let's just copy and then paste. Here we go. We need to actually build the jar file from the source we downloaded from the GitHub. Now I am in Eclipse. Just right click, import, then choose Android, existing Android code into workspace. Click next, then browse to our Unity example we downloaded. So here was Google leads mobile plugins 
then go click on unity click on source click on plugin libraries so here is the jar file we need to build so like click open then it will show so we need to import the add activity to click on finish i also opened the google play services library so how i did it just click import and then existing android code into workspace and click next and we need to browse to where i put the sdk let's click on sdk android sdk mac and in the extras google google play services lib project then click open but see here i already ex imported the same project it wouldn't let me do it however if you have not have this project imported it will actually allow you to import the whole project right click on the add activity project click on property so see here i have linked the google play services library which is this one as a library project you can click add to add ex other project to this project the reference and make sure you check is library and this way all the source code will be generated into your jar file just press ok and for me i have the project built automatically so just click project and i have this being selected so what we need to get is in the add activity project in the bin folder we will find a add activity jar file what we need to do is just right click on the jar file just copy and paste it in the unity project so here is my directory move the unity sample hello world and uh, assets plugins android you remember we imported a google play services library project into the plugin folder and click on the libs folder and just paste the activity jar here let's go back to unity so now we have this jar added to this project let's go to assets folder click on the main scene click on the main camera we will see there is google mobile ads demo script being attached to it if you're missing the references just click on a little circle and then find the script and make sure it's it's attached correctly and let's click the little wheel and click add script here we need to add our android ad mob id to our script to make sure it's loading our ads let's go to ad mob i have the monetization have been set up so let's monetize new app by click plus new app and just click add your app manually or search for existing app so for the testing purposes we're just going to click add app manually so it's to android add mob test let's select the android and i just click add app and let's just add a banner so we'll call it banner save then create another ad banner so interstitial let's just call it full screen and just save it's done so the android has let's first copy the banner add union id let's go back to the editor in the request banner function we just need to replace the unity android add union id and let's save it and let's go back to copy the interstitial android add mob union id and paste it at the request interstitial add union id for android save let's open build settings 
In the player settings, we need to make sure our bundle identifier is unique. Com dot company name dot product name. You just need to click build and run and also make sure our Android phone is turned on debug mode and connected with a cable. So let's just click build and run and save it as any APK name you prefer and press save. I have my Android app running on my Android phone. Let's just test it out. Just press the crest banner and see. The banner is now showing. First, let's hide banner. Let's just press just the show. And it usually take a little while to load everything. Hmm? Now it's showing. Cool, everything works. Hopefully at this point, you'll have AdMob running on your iOS and Android again. I'm going to Google I.O. at the end of June. Hopefully I will see you guys there. Bye.